here. And Michelle. And this is, and we are Adventures, Adventures Ahead. Ahead. And this is our new cruising room. And we got, I don't know if you can really see it, but we have a, oh. we have a uh, map on the wall of the world. And we're, and look at, I wrote cruise goals. goals. And so we're going to, yep, we are next destination circled. I want to get pins and put in and say where we've been. Michelle's not nuts over that, but I'm doing the pin theory. <laughs> and then we got a lot of our, I don't know if you guys can see, kind of oh. moved. Kind of move, and so this is like stuff that we just got from either on the cruise or on a cruise ship. We have our cards, um, stuff from Margaritaville. We'll add to this, and then like some of the games and some of the stuff we got. Uh, but then also things that like an airline ticket and our map from Alabama. We have more maps from where we say we've been traveling down, so we want to put those up. And then just some random stuff like our Michelle loves minions. We put those up there. I got this little state puff guy. Got a Mario uh, mushroom over there, just kind of fun. So that's us. Scoot all the way. Oh God, this chair. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, so that was that was that. That's a room. So t <clears throat> today we're going to talk about this is a um, a cruise chatter episode, episode two of cruise chatter. Michelle, do you have your phone? I do. Okay. Um, the other day on John Healed, I sent this to Michelle and said I think we should talk about this. Because I think we've kind of talked about it before, me and her, like, on the ship. And we're going to talk about the, what are those things called? Fun times. Fun times. Something that somebody wrote to John Heald the other day. So, um, Alia, I think her name is. After 120 days with Carnival Ships, I have to present you with my biggest complaint. It's wasting paper. The fun times and all those advert papers you put inside. Corrupt logging companies and are cutting down some of the most endangered forests on the planet to make paper products such as the paper used for fun times. Now you have di a digital version. There's no reason at all to keep printing paper copies. No reason at all, John. That's her, not me. Yeah. The world's resources must not be wasted, John. Please do something about this. And then, sh then this, is, this is John Heald's response to her. Well, I really do understand how passionate Alia is about this, and I'm sure many of you feel the same way. But are we? Are you ready for us to go 100% digital with the fun times and only publish them on our Hub app? Let's see what you think, and there was a poll. And 19% of people said, no more fun times. 81% of people said, keep the fun times. Now this is the cruise chatter part. I say, keep the paper fun times because not everybody has their phone on them on the ship. Um, last cruise, me and Michelle really didn't have our phones with us a lot. I mean, we could look at the app if we wanted and we did buy the cruise uh, or the, the Carnival Hub app. Yep, we did buy the thing so you could talk to each other, but that was basically just if we were in the casino or someplace else. Um, and you know, we didn't use it that much, but it was only $5 a piece for the whole cruise. So it was all right. But so we actually like the fun times. It's a fun thing to get on your, you know, in your room every day. And we look over it, even though begrudgingly I look over it sometimes when I don't want to. But we always usually look over it. Don't yeah, we? always. Always look over the paper. But Michelle is more on the digital version. Mm -hmm. I don't really look at the digital version at all. Michelle does. So tell them about it. Why you like that? The why I like the digital? Mm -hmm. Well, I usually always have my phone on me. Uh, just for whatever purposes. I like to take pictures with my phone too. Uh, but I think it's really easy to navigate through. Now, saying that, I don't think that they should get rid of the paper front times either though. Right. Because there's lots of, like I said, people that want to disconnect and don't want to use their phones. Also, there's a lot of elderly people that doesn't have a smartphone. Like, that's one of the responses I saw that someone said. And so they still enjoy the paper fun times. And other people just like to have them and bring them home and have them in their collection. That's what I like. Yeah, I and like we've to seen, keep them. And right, we've seen a lot of other people that the, uh, keep, keep their fun their time. Fun and you know times. what my favorite part is? When someone uploads them to the internet so I can read them later because I want to know what I'm getting into on a right. ship. Right, Michelle likes to do that. I don't do that. But. Oh, I do. So, yeah, I mean, the fun times. I mean, I guess some people are, I understand to be conscious, but is it really, um, you know, and then like Michelle said, I think they have an option where you can um, recycle those fun times. Well, yeah, it's paper. Right. So, so, I mean, just saying, like, you could probably recycle. Yeah, just like they do the photos. It's not like it's printed on plastic or something. Right. It's, it's yeah, it's paper. So, um, 
No, I don't agree with getting rid of him and going 100% digital. John Hill, don't all. do it. At all. So, it doesn't sound like they will anyway because no. the poll was way slanted. So, so what do you guys think? Do you guys think they should go 100% digital on the fun times? Or, don't do it. Or do you guys... It, I'm wondering if there's anybody out there that doesn't even look at the fun times. Yeah. I mean, I'd be interested in that if you guys just do your own thing and don't do even look at the fun. Yeah, just show up. I mean, that's even more whatevs than me and Michelle. Because <laughs> we're like, whatevs life. Yeah, but. yeah, we're whatevs lifestyle, but uh, not that much on a cruise. So, and uh, but yeah, I mean, of course, there's things that we say. Oh yeah, let's go do that. And drink too much. Drink too much. Didn't make it. Or oh, uh, we're over here doing this instead. You know, so. Um, there's lots of occasions that we've missed things uh, that we wanted to do. But we had fun. But we've never we and but we're not the type to highlight things on the thing either. Nah. We just kind of look at it. I know I'm there is a lot of people. But... I was watching um, today. I was actually watching a vlog by uh, Adventures of David and Aaron, and, and they, they highlight. They highlight, and I've seen other people do that as well. But um, we don't highlight. So. But more power to you. Oh yeah, man. yeah. That's that's cool. That stays organized. So. But, uh, yeah, so let us know what you guys think. And, okay. That's all I got. That's it. So Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Oh, we have a Facebook page. Oh. So we have a Facebook page. Tell them about it, Michelle. Uh, it's called Adventures Ahead Cruising Group. Yep. What is it called? Yeah, <laughs> Adventures Ahead Cruising Group. Yeah, um, it's pretty cool. Me and Josh run it, yep. obviously, because we're Adventures Ahead. Right, and so we're checking it out. Or we're... We, we held off for a long time, um, but we decided, well, we might as well do something and mm -hmm. have our community of people, our subscribers, and people that are passionate about cruising like us in the same place. And, and we post, uh, you know, we do post a lot on Lita Logo too, because they're a great cruising community. Right. So we post a lot of cruising stuff on there, and our page will post all of our vlogs, so. Right, right. You know. We only we only post cruising stuff on Lita Loca, and then we'll uh, post our cruising stuff plus our other non-cruising stuff, meaning like our vlogs and stuff, on the other page too. Adventures so ahead. Adventures Ahead page. So, okay, well, just want to tell you about that. Go check it out. Go like it. Go say something on there. Tell us you're there. Holla at you, girl. And we oh. will. <laughs> and we will tell you guys. Hey. Okay. Bye. Bye.